All right, so we are here at our final extravaganza for the semester. I just wanted to make a quick video rather than write a long, boring uh, announcement in the Blackboard and maybe that you would appreciate me coming live and direct to you about what to do about the case study presentations for this coming up uh, Thursday. So in each one of the case studies, um, as I said, there are no questions uh, at the end of the case study. What we are asking you to do is to look at the case study and understand the problems that occurred in the case study. And given what we have covered this semester in, in strategic planning, how would you find components of what we've done through the strategic planning process that would be applicable to solve the problems in the case study. So that's pretty much all we are really looking for you to do uh, with the case study and your short presentations on Thursday. It's not complicated. Uh, pretty much, if you use the strategic thinking map, you'll find some components throughout that map that will help you say, oh, wow, if they did this to uh, this component of the strategic thinking map and apply this, these processes, and the methodologies that go along that you know Porter's five forces the value chain analysis and so forth um, they would have been able to help solve the problems that uh, are described in the in the uh, in the case study so that's all uh, I wanted to say and if you have any questions between now and Thursday when we get together email text or call me and I would be more than happy to answer your questions. And the final thing on that is that uh, for your grading of the case study, everybody gets the same grade. So I would think that from a very professional perspective, everybody would contribute equally in order to earn the grade that the group will be assigned. Thank you and I will see you on Thursday.